What's up guys, I'm going to be doing bi-weekly contest 30 from lead code and hopefully I can solve all of the problems without making, uh, without any penalties. Yeah, that's my goal for this contest. Reformat date, this is all look good. Oh uh, yeah, this does not look good. This does not look fun. First, I'll take the last four digits, I guess. That's the year, and then I had the dash. And then for the month. Take, um, this will give me the month, and then I need to compare it to find the index. And lastly, I add one to make it one index. And then if it's less than 10, then I need to add a zero leading zero in front. Okay, and then the last dash. And I just need to add the number in front, okay? So, well, this is a digit. Okay, I think this works. Try this. Hopefully, there's not a good library function over that. And sorted them in decreasing order. So I just I just calculate the sums. I sort the array. Then I add from left to right. I need to take module or anything. Oh yeah, this. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, and the last one needs to be Okay, so if Less than 2, then I'm just going to add a 0 in front Let's try this again 13, 6, 50 This one look, looks good So we get to ignore three numbers and then so let's sort the numbers first okay 
if it's okay if it's less than then we're equal to if the size is less than or equal to four then we can always get a difference of zero okay accepted this one looks like it's ready to submit otherwise um I always answer at this. And then we can always choose um wait. Oh yeah, we can always just choose this. Numbers J minus numbers I answer. Okay, let's try this. Okay, accepted. Zero one two one. Okay, submit this. Initially the six minutes passed. Non zero square number. The player cannot make a move, they lose the game. Okay, this is just DP. Ah, uh, DP N plus one. DP zero is a loss. DP I. So if it's a losing move, then we can transition. Accepted. What's the answer for this? True, false, true, false, false. Okay, submit this. Yeah, this was an e easier contest. Except for the first problem. The first problem was... I don't know, the first problem, if you did not know, like, special libraries and stuff, then... It was a bit of a pain. But otherwise... Wait, rankings are enabled 10 minutes after the contest begins. So I have no idea like what my ranking is until like three minutes later. Okay, I can't wait. I guess I'll just, maybe, I wonder what library function could be used for this. Uh, I'll just search up Java reformat date. Can Java parse like this type of date? Just this date is a bit like... I'll just check this out. This is not like a very, um, how do I call it? It's not a very like machine friendly string. So, not exactly sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe in some language there could, but I guess like you would have to know that language really well. Anyways, this is just like stupid implementation. I don't want to go over it. Um, yeah, so problem two. What you do here is you just calculate. First, you calculate each subray sum and then put them in an array. And to do that, you just you fix the left index of the subray and then you have another index which goes right uh, yeah, and then you loop over the right index and then you keep increasing the subarray sum by the right index each time your right index like goes right by one element after you calculate these subarray sums as like the problem says you just sort them and then you just sum everything from left to right yeah this is pretty straightforward and then uh, for the third problem, notice that like choosing one element and changing it by any value, that's equivalent to just removing the element from the array. Because we could just like, if we are, let's say we already know our final like smallest value of the array, then we can just like change all of these values into 
the final smallest value. It's equivalent to like removing the value from the array. So what the problem here is we're allowed to remove three elements from the array and we have to return the minimum uh, difference. And then if the array is pretty small, then the answer will just be zero. But otherwise, <clears throat> if you consider an optimal solution, we should always remove from a prefix and a suffix. So a prefix and plus a suffix, which sums to uh, exactly three elements. So we sort it and then we iterate through like all these sets of prefix and suffixes and then we return the answer. And then it doesn't even have to be three. It could be like K. I have no idea why it was three, but I don't know. Maybe it's just to like, maybe if you, maybe if it said K, it would seem very general. And then <clears throat> it, it maybe like when people see three, they will think it's some like casework or something. But in fact, like there's a pretty general solution for K for like performing on most K moves. And lastly, stone game. This is pretty standard DP and notice that the transitions, like they're at most like O of screwed and transitions because uh, at like when you have N stones left, like because you can only take a perfect square number of stones, there are only like screwed N choices you can make. So in total, you have O of N states, O of screwed N transitions. So becomes O of n squared n, which is fast enough. And yeah, this is really not a hard problem. Don't know why. Don't know why I was labeled as one. Oh wow. This is sad. I if I just submitted it instead of like testing it, I would have won. But whatever, second place is pretty good perf performance. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like I'm I'm tied with uh, Alex Weiss, for, with like with only like a few seconds of margin, and then everyone's like a bit behind. The next person is like almost two minutes behind. Yeah, this is a close one, but anyways, hope that you learned something from this, and I'll see you in another video.